Hey everyone, welcome back to another tutorial with Code with Row. Well, we're going to be going over Ascent Combat Framework in Unreal Engine 5 on how to create a melee weapon blueprint. So we'll be setting up a sword with its moveset, sockets, damage properties, and let's dive in. So I'll create another folder right here called Weapon Tutorial. Weapon Tutorial. And I'll double click and go in. And now what we're gonna do is create our melee weapon blueprint. So right click, navigate to blueprint class. Under all classes, we're gonna be searching the ACF melee weapon. And now you'll see that just like our armor that we did in the last video, it's under equipable item, but instead of ACF armor, this is gonna be under ACF weapon. So we'll select ACF melee weapon, click select, and I'll call this um, the sword tutorial. We're gonna double click to open it up. And the first thing I wanna do Let's make sure I select the sword here. And I'm going to be selecting a skeletal mesh. So in this case, I'll just do any kind of any Sinti swords that I have because I'm using their modular pack right now. And I'll do this one. This one looks good. The next thing I'll do is scroll down and under ACF, you'll see weapon. And you can select whether it's going to be a one handed sword, off handed sword or two handed sword. And I'll scroll down again and we're going to have to select the weapon type, the move set overlay and actions. And if you're using the sample template, just like I am, in this case, we're going to be setting just the weapon type. So we'll select item.weapon.melee.sword. This defines the type of weapon we're creating. And for the move set, we will just be selecting move set. And then for move set overlay, we're going to do single handed sword. And same thing with move for the uh, moveset actions. It'll be single handed sword as well. And now what you're going to want to do is find your on body socket name and in hand socket name. So if you're just using um, the base template, it's SH sword equip for the on body socket. And then in hand, it's going to be called single handed weapon. If you don't fill this out properly, you won't be able to see your weapon, but your character will still be able to equip it as long as the inventory shows that it's wearing it. So it'll look like you're swinging nothing or nothing's on your back. So we'll hit compile and save. And now we can scroll down. Oh, and actually first, let's go over um, how to find out what your socket name is. I'll go back to full map and then I'll click this finder icon next to default pawn class. And in this case, I'm using the Sinti mesh, the skeletal mesh. So I'm going to be finding this mesh and you just want to find the skeleton of it. You can technically put it onto whatever name you want. But in my case, I copy pasted my SH sword equip over here. And if you wanted to, you could right click and do add a preview asset and we can add a sword. It doesn't have to be the same one. And you'll see how it looks on the back here. And then same thing with my equip sword is going to be back here on my, under my spine three. And that SH sword equip, as we did earlier, is right here on the on body socket name. And then in hands, when you're actually wielding it, it's called single hand weapon. And that is going to be probably on my right hand. Yeah, right here. Single hand weapon. So I already have a preview asset for this one, which is the basic ACF uh, sword over here. So now you can add an equip sound. So whenever you equip it or unequip it, you can add like a sheathing sound. You can also add um, attributes modifiers, statistics modifiers, and so on here. And then we can add in a description. So you can add in a thumbnail if you want to use it for your inventory, for example. And I'll call this um, tutorial sword. And the description will be new sword for tutorial. And then you could also add like how many items you can stack at once, the item weight, the world mesh, and so on. But the important part here is we're going to be looking for the item slot. So this has to match what's on your character. So you'll click the plus and you want to make sure that it's whatever the melee weapon is on your character. So if I go back to my, my character blueprint, and go to my equipment component, equipment and inventory, you'll see that at index zero for me, it'll just say item slot dot melee weapon. So kind of like the same thing that we did with the armors last time, you're gonna need the item slot so it determines where it goes. So I'll select item slot dot melee weapon. And then I'll hit compile, save. So now what I'm gonna do is click this co collision component here and you'll see it say damage trace damage traces under the traces tab. And you're gonna add a plus sign or you're gonna click this to add an element. And then you can name this whatever you want. So I'll just call this tutorial sword trace. 
and you're going to op- you're going to expand it. And now when you expand it, you can define how your sword is going to act. So you can add an attack sound. So in this case, uh the ACF default one is So you can preview it here too. So when I So the so the default one is the A sword swing cue and then attack particle. So this is basically going to be that trail that leaves behind your sword. It can be like a cool effect or something. Um, so in this case, we're going to do the P underscore melee trails. And then you also need to have a start socket and an end socket. This pretty much tells the game where your hitbox is. So for for example, I'm going to set this radius to 20 and I'll set the, the trail to 2. This is just going to define the length of our trail. And now for the start and end, so I'll do start here and I'll do end here. And then I'll also change the damage type class in this case to be the ACF cut damage type. We'll go over damage types in another video. And now I'll compile and save. So the sockets of the start and end need to be on your mesh as well. So now if I go to my mesh and find it in the browser or find it in my content browser and double click on it. Okay, so now it opens up my sword skeletal mesh. And now what I'm gonna to wanna to do is just right click here and you're gonna add a socket and then we're gonna add another one, a second one. So I'll call this one start and this one will be called end and exactly how it was on our damage traces or on, yeah, on, under our damage traces. So start socket and socket. But if I leave it as is, it's only gonna hit if this handle area touches it because the start and end are on the same place. So what I'm gonna do is just drag the end all the way to the top, right to the point of my blade. And yeah, that's good, that's fine. The start is at the bottom. I can even do it like right on the blade just to be more accurate. Just so the hilt doesn't act as an attack. And I'll save this. I'll save this too. I'll save everything. And then I will compile, save, even though it already is. And now, kind of like we did previously in our armor tutorial, I'm going to right click, create another blueprint class, and we're going to do the, the full item world BP. Full world item BP. Yeah, this one. So I'll select ACF full world item BP, and this is just going to act our drop. So we're going to do sword drop. I'll just name it, just name it whatever. And then in here, all I'm really going to do, I'm not going to be all fancy with this one, like the armor one. So I'll just add that sword tutorial item. The sword tutorial. So I'll just add this in. Uh, one is fine. Compile, save. And then I will add this right in front of where I spawn. Okay, so I left the bag right here. And now when I hit play, so let me drop my current items just so you can see. So nothing equipped now. So I'll pick up tutorial sword and now I'll scroll all the way down. And then tutorial sword, it'll just say new, new sword for tutorial, just like I put, and now I'll equip it. And now you can see currently it's on that on body socket. And when I equip it, it's in my hand now. So now when I swing, this is the this is the animation trail. So this glowy part that's around my sword, that's just the animation trail that ACF came with on default. And now the traces that we added, the start and end, those are going to register my hits now. So for example, those swords have it. <laughs> so if I if I get hit, oh that that's gonna hurt me. So if I hit back, it'll register my hits too. Yeah, so my hits are registering. Another thing you can just do is just type in sword. And then, for example, for the uh, ACF default sword. Oh, yeah. So you'll see this ACF sword BP. You can just, you can just duplicate this. So I'll duplicate this. Call this just a bunch of S's for now. And then you can just open this up. You can change the mesh to... <laughs> you can actually change the mesh to whatever you want. And if I just go here... <laughs> I mean, this is going to be so dumb. So I'll, I'll add something else. I want to start and end. I'll do um, begin. And then I'll do end with two Ds. Yeah, so that's, that's fine. So I'll do begin here. And end will be here. This is going to be a very odd weapon. Let's just double check to make sure everything's fine. So radius, I think I need to increase this to 40. Oh, and I need to change the, um, the socket names. I forgot. So instead of start and end, I did begin. And end with two Ds. Now control save. And now it's just a bunch of S's. So I'm going to go back to this bag. 
And then I will change the item inside to a bunch of S's. And now when I uh now when I pick this up, called ACF Sword, but that's a lie. And we know this. Because this this is the ultimate weapon. And now when I equip it, <laughs> hold on. This is gonna this is gonna look really odd. So I'm using like this dude's brother as my um or uh sister that I can tell. So now I can fight with this. So yeah, there's no limitation on what you can do with ACF. The world's greatest plugin. I, f I freaking love this plugin. Look, perfectly optimized. Amazing. And this is a really OP weapon compared to the little sword I was using earlier. And yeah, you can even like make these horses into bullets and stuff too. Uh, that dude got destroyed. That dude got owned. But, all right, thanks for watching Code with Row. That pretty much covers up our weapons tutorial. Let me know what you want to see next in the comments below. Like, subscribe, and thanks for watching.